Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! The Ethics of Cohabitation, Planet of the Apes Edition. Can you imagine going to school with a chimpanzee or taking the bus with a caveman? We live in a world dominated by one technologically advanced species, us. But what if there were more? How would society be different if we shared dominion over the Earth? Let's take a look at Planet of the Apes to find out. Welcome to a world where orangutans, gorillas, and chimpanzees coexist and reign supreme. Humans are treated like animals and hunted like pests in this world. The humans in these films represent people of color in the 1960s. It's an allegory of the racial strife and battles during the civil rights era. The year Planet of the Apes was first released, 1968, is the same year that Martin Luther King was murdered and the Civil Rights Act was passed. In this fictional world, mute humans are used for medical experimentation by their ape overlords. Apes wear fancy clothes, ride horses, and live in a highly advanced pre-industrial society. While the humans are a remarkably less advanced and more tribal group, they still show signs of intelligence. Much like modern apes, elephants, and dolphins, these primitive humans display the capacity to feel, perceive, and experience subjectivity. Having these traits implies sentience. Any sentient species that can display a capacity to learn, solve problems, and experience emotion deserves a special sort of respect. Modern chimps have significantly better short-term memory than even the smartest of humans. For example, Coco the gorilla knew more than 2,000 words in sign language. Dolphins similarly communicate through echolocation with clicks and whistles using body language. To impede these species' technological and societal progress would be akin to destroying humanity in its infancy hundreds of thousands of years ago. As the dominant species on Earth, humans play the role as both caretaker and destructor of other animals. These animals need the opportunity to thrive and grow in their own unique way without humans destroying their habitat. It took us millions of years to advance our current level of civilization, so is it right to deprive other animals of our unique opportunity? Furthermore, what would it be like if we shared Earth with other species that could talk and take our jobs? While chimpanzees and dolphins may not be taking over anytime soon, the introduction of artificially intelligent beings is an imminent reality. There also exists the ever-present potential of extraterrestrial aliens to migrate to Earth. Let's hope that our potential future society with our alien and robot brethren will be freer than the strict caste society that exists in the Planet of the Apes. The orangutans in Planet of the Apes, led by Dr. Zaius, enforce and maintain strict rules to keep the other species in line. They're the politicians, the bureaucrats, the priests. Gorillas are the working man of the ape society. They rival orangutans for power and dominion over Ape City. They're soldiers, policemen, hunters, and laborers. Their aggressive and brutish behavior eventually leads to the destruction of Earth and beneath the Planet of the Apes. This is a direct contrast to the chimpanzees who are represented by the progressive Cornelius and Zira who helped tailor to freedom. Chimps are scientists, intellectuals, and doctors. What do you think the writers and filmmakers are trying to say with this dichotomy? And more importantly, do you think that planetary cohabitation is ethical? We say, of course it is. Although humans may not have the capacity to allow it to come into fruition in the first place, even the apes struggled with equality in their simian society, it's entirely possible that if a more dominant species emerged on Earth, a similar system of inequality to the ape caste would emerge. Humans have a terrible track record among their own kind. Racism is so rampant that it's entirely possible that if a second species rose to rival humanity, we would quickly figure out a way to demonize it, exploit it, or segregate it. It's also entirely possible that sentient robots will be forced into slave labor while nations compete to exploit the resources of alien refugees. All the while, the natural habitats of future sentient races are destroyed. We can always hope that instead of becoming like the Planet of the Apes, we emulate the utopian future of Star Trek. There, technologically advanced species work together in harmony and equality under the United Federation of Planets. All species in the Federation have universal liberty, rights, and equality, and work together to bring a brighter future to the galaxy. So, what do you think, true believer? Is it ethical or even possible for two technologically advanced societies to occupy the same planet? How do you think the introduction of a rival species would be handled? Is it possible that we may eventually reach harmony with our technologically advanced brethren? Comment with your thoughts below, subscribe to Space Taste if you like, and we'll see you later!